Greetings, Kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to Our World of Darkness and another episode of Level by Level, our Potence playlist. And today we're going to go into the level 4 power of Draught of Strength. Now, I've already talked about the draughts before, that my game was doing it before it was cool. But I, I really do love the fact that this is part of the game now and not just something that we were doing. Draughts are when you give blood from yourself to someone else who does not have those individual powers and you can then pass them on temporarily to your ally it helps it's a lot of fun i could actually see using draught of might on an enemy maybe maybe not another vampire but on like a human that's hassling you because when you have that strength all of a sudden you just can't control it and watching them run around doing things that are going to end up getting them in trouble for destruction of property is just hilarious the book says the blood of the vampire becomes saturated with the power of potence, conveying a part of that power to anyone who drinks of it. This is the potence equivalent to draught of elegance. So in other words, you give your blood to an individual who then gains your power. Simple, well put, I like it. The cost is one rouse check. The draught is a rouse check's worth of blood. So again, that makes complete sense. The system states, drinking a rouse check's worth of blood directly from the user gifts the drinker with temporary potence equal to half the potent dots rounded down of the donor. The drinker gains the same powers as the donor up to that level. So in other words, if you have four, they're getting two levels. If you have this, they're obviously only getting two levels. If you have five, they're still only getting two levels because it's halved rounded down and they get the exact same things as you so in other words if you have like lethal body and prowess that's what they're getting now luckily this stops it too because i would love to see a ghoul that you've given this to with brutal feed just go out there and cause some real head shattering moments the duration of this power is interesting. The draughts have interesting durations because it's one night, unless it's a vampire. If you give this power to another vampire, it lasts until the next feeding or until the vampire reaches a hunger of five. So this is a power that it's saturated within the blood. And since humans pump blood, it's going to become diluted by their own uh, by their own blood over time, and that's why it goes away. So it will last for one night for humans and ghouls and things like that, where with a vampire, it's going to last until they feed again or until they absolutely need to feed again. If anybody has any other questions about Draught of Might, please drop them in the comments. If anybody has any comments about it, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but again, this is much, much like most of the disciplines in this book. This is just a straightforward answer to what these powers do. I am Voivode Maquette. This is Our World of Darkness and another episode of Level by Level, the Potence series. And I will see you next time. Class dismissed.